Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're talking Halo Infinite. And we're talking about Halo Infinite for the PC. What happened today? Good and bad news. The good news, the minimum and the recommended specs have been released. The bad news kind of is the recommended specs are pretty damn high. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the minimum. The minimum specs, the big one that's going to stick out to you is the graphic cards it always is for it always is basically for PC gamers and uh, no exception here the Nvidia GTX 1050 Ti is the minimum rec uh, minimum uh, graphic card that you'll need or higher to play Halo Infinite PC that's good news I think because a lot of people probably watching this have a 1050 Ti or higher so if you want to play it on the lower specs and the lower end you should be okay I um, also will note that you need 8 gigs of RAM, so yeah, you probably won't have to upgrade to play it on the lower end. But it gets a little weird here when it comes to the recommended. It's a bit of a monster. They are recommending an NVIDIA RTX 2070. That's right, guys. That card's only a few years old, a couple years old at most, and it's a pretty high-end card. Not cheap. So to play this at some of the higher settings, you may need to upgrade if you don't have that card. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's a little high there. So there it is, guys. Those are the minimum and recommended specs. If you want to play this in the in its all its glory, you might have to get one of those newer cards. And I do realize that cards are kind of scarce right now. And the prices are all over the place. And they're really, really high. So keep that in mind. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's the details for Halo Infinite PC. As far as we know, the game's coming out in a few months, hopefully, as long as they don't delay it. And that's that, guys. Got a ton more news coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.